After delivering on the free bus rides for women, Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharamaya continued to provide incentives for the women of the state. From women-run cafes across the state to a safety app for women travelling in BMTC, the budget for the financial year 2024-25 had quite a few interesting announcements for women. I'm Rishika Kashyap and here's a quick wrap-up of what the budget has for women. Budget speech said that his government strongly believes in women empowerment. The government proposes a collaboration with the Coffee Board to train one black women as coffee entrepreneurs. These women will be selected from various self help groups. 2,500 coffee kiosks managed exclusively by women from self help groups will be set up at a cost of 25 crore. 50 women run cafes will be launched across the state this year at a cost of 7.50 crore. These canteens named Cafe Sanjeevani will cater to the demand and supply gap in rural areas for healthy, hygienic and affordable cooked food and traditional local cuisine. For women who find themselves travelling across the state, affordable and secure transit hostels will be set up. These can be used by students and working women staying overnight in cities. These lodges will be managed in partnership with women's self-help groups and urban local bodies. The project will be launched in five cities, including Bengaluru in the first phase, at a cost of 2 crore. Next, in an effort to increase the safety of women, a vehicle tracking mobile app with women's safety features is being developed by BMTC for the benefit of commuters. Announcements related to women's healthcare also found a place in the budget speech. Breast cancer and cervical cancer have been increasing among women. To tackle this, digital mammography machines will be provided to 20 district hospitals and colposcopy machines will be provided to KC General Hospital, Bengaluru and district hospitals of Udupi, Kolar and Davangere at the cost of 21 crore. Under the Prerna scheme, usage of menstrual cups will be promoted among women from self-help groups, women members of Gram Panchayats and frontline workers of rural areas which in turn will inspire other women in villages. What does the budget have for Anganwadi workers? 10 crore will be provided to conduct training and capacity building workshops to 20,000 Anganwadi workers and helpers. This will help in improving the quality of early education and care of children. All Anganwadi workers and supervisors will be provided with smartphones to facilitate their daily activities. More than 75,000 smartphones will be procured at a cost of 90 crore for this purpose. Additionally, 1,000 new Anganwadis will be constructed at a cost of 200 crore. For all the women considering a change in career, have you considered dairy farming? The government is offering a 6% interest subsidy on loans used to purchase cows and buffaloes. But there's a caveat. The subsidy only applies if the loan repayment is done on time. Siddharamaya also announced that 86,423 crore will be provided for women-oriented schemes in the year 2024-25. This was all the budget had for women. Stay tuned for more updates related to the state budget.